Hey guys, today I have a lug video comparing the Tenor to the Mini Dory. So someone asked me if I could do a capacity comparison between these two bags. And to me, this Mini Dory does look like it's a smaller version of the Tenor. They both have these grab handles. They have a similar look to them. This just looks like a smaller bag. So what I'm doing today is I'm just going to go through and just compare these two bags together. I have the Tenor completely packed full, and I'm just gonna see what can fit in the Mini Dory from the Tenor. I can tell you that I know one thing is not gonna fit, and if you can look at it, you can see there is quite a bit of size difference between the two bags. So I do wanna just show you what can fit in the Mini Dory from the Tenor. Most times I'm surprised at what can fit in the smaller bags because the just organization is just so good it can fit so many things but I do feel like not everything is going to fit in the mini dory that fits in the tenor and as you can see I do have this packed so you can see it's not really bulking out but it is packed pretty full so we're going to see what can fit in the mini dory from the tenor and I'm just going to go through all of the different compartments of the two to compare them for you and then I'm also going to show you how both of these wear on the body all the different ways that you can wear them so let's go ahead and get started with this comparison and capacity review of the tenor and the mini dory I always kind of like to start with the ways that you can carry it and the straps differences so on the tenor you do have these grab handles that are made out of a canvas they're kind of like a rolled style and then you also have the grab handles on the mini dory that is the same fabric of the entire bag so these have a different fabrication on the grab handle this one has the same fabrication as the rest of the bag they both have a one and a half inch strap and both of these can be carried crossbody. So you can adjust this as crossbody and I will show you later how they wear on the body and where the adjustment is on those. And then also you can carry these if you adjust this as short as these straps will go. You can also carry both of these as a shoulder bag as well. So let's go ahead and go into the comparison of the quilting. The quilting is so pretty on both of these bags. So on the tenor, you have that big exaggerated basket weave printing on the front. On the back, you do not have any kind of quilting and on the bottom, you don't have any kind of quilting. On the mini door, you do have the quilting on the front, the back, and also on the bottom. And as you can see, when I showed you the bottom of both of those, neither of these have any kind of feet on the bottom of them and they don't have a plastic covering that's a wipeable surface on the bottom. They are both just the same fabric as all around on the bag, except that the mini dory does have some quilting. So when I have them shown to you like this, I did wanna just show you the difference in the bottom of these. You can see that there is a substantial difference on the tenor as opposed to the mini dory. And then also you can see the length that the mini dory is smaller in length than the tenor is at the bottom. So you can kind of see the comparisons of the two of these at the bottom as well. I'm just gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So the mini dory is empty and the tenor is actually full, but you can see a side-by-side -side comparison on the side of these two bags. So let's just go ahead now and talk about all the features that are around these bags, and then I'll go to the inside of the bag. So let me go ahead and tell you about the hardware. So the hardware is gunmetal on both, zipper pulls are gunmetal on both, and the zippers are gunmetal on both. So you don't have any tonal zippers or anything on these. On the front of the tenor, you do have this soft lined pocket on here. So that's all that you have on the front of this tenor. So your phone does fit vertically in there, and I have one of the Max phones in there with a pop socket, and it fits in there. Wasn't a tight fit. You can see how easily I took that out. I'll just convert this over here to one of the soft lined pockets of the dory. So on the dory, on the front, you can see that on both of these bags, you have the lug logo in the cursive on both of these bags. I love that. I wish all bags from now on would have that kind of lug logo on there because I like it so much better than the plate. I think it just looks classier and more expensive looking. So then you also have this quilting detail that kind of just goes along with the strap. The strap kind of comes all the way down so it doesn't have that basket weave printing. That's also in the back of this bag as well. You can see that different quilting that's down here with the straps. So on the dory, you have two soft lined pockets. So on the front of this one, you have that vertical soft lined pocket on the front of the tenor. But on the dory, as you can see, if you look at the top of this, you have this magnetic closed area that's soft lined on the front. 
Then you also have another one that's on the back right here. So you have two soft line pockets that are magnetic closed and they're kind of on the top instead of in the front and the back. So I'm gonna put this phone in here. This is one of the Max phones. It does fit horizontally. It is a tight fit. It does fit from one side to the other with a little bit of room on each side. And it does have a pop socket. So it does fit in there really nicely. And as of now, without it being packed on the inside, that magnetic close actually does come together. There's no bulking or gapping in that. So let's go around to the back of the tenor. It does have a horizontal zipper in the back and the back of the mini dory has that magnetic closed area too. So the front and the back have those magnetic closed soft lined area. So what I have in the back of this is the pouch that comes with the tenor. So the tenor does come with an additional pouch, also has a lug logo on there, also has that really nice macro basket weaving on there, and it does have a ring so you can attach it to the key bungee that's on the inside of the tenor if you want to. You can put this in any other bag if you want to do that as well, but this is like a built-in wallet. You have an area where you have a bill slot and an area for six credit card slots in here, also a zipper in the inside of this, and then you can see the lining on the inside of this violet tenor. This is an additional pouch that comes with the tenor, and let's just see if it will go in the soft lines area. It will not, so you can see how much of a difference that is, that it's not gonna go. There's this much more room that won't fit in there, so we will just try to fit that on the inside of that in just a moment. I wanna go over the inside before I start packing this up. So this was the back of the tenor, and you also have the two pin slots in the back of this as well. So you have a really good open vertical zipper area in the back. That's where I put the pouch that comes with that, and then you have the slot for two pins as well. So that's all the organization on the outside of the tenor, and that's all the organization on the outside of the dory. Okay, so now we'll go to the inside, and let me just go ahead and go to the inside of the dory since it's completely empty, and I'm gonna start packing some things from the tenor into the dory. So you can see the inside of this has that really pretty gray background with the floral bright pattern, where the tenor had like the navy background. So when you look at the inside of the dory, you have this zipper area in the back. So you have a privacy zipper area in the back, and then underneath that you have two cargo pockets. These cargo pockets are a little bit shallow. If you wanna see an in-depth of just the mini dory, I do have a video on that. I can link that down below for you guys, but I kinda of turned this inside out so you can see how shallow these cargo pockets are. Then when you turn it around to the other side, you do have that zipper clear view pocket area. Then you also have a key bungee in here as well. So that's the inside organization that you have in the mini dory. So let's just go ahead and try to see if this pouch that comes from the tenor will fit in here, and it will as of now without anything else packed in here. So let's go ahead and go over here to the tenor and you can see that you have this really nice zipper area on the tenor. I love this bag. This is one of my favorite bags. I just absolutely love the tenor. I've got it in two different colors. I have it in the black and I have it in this violet. I just think it's a really practical everyday bag and I just love the way you can just carry it by the handles. I like to do that a lot, but I also like the option of having it as a crossbody if you want to be hands-free as well. So inside, you can see how I have this packed up. So the first thing I wanna pull out of here is an iPad. You can fit a regular size iPad in the tenor and it would fit sideways in the dory, but it's too tall. So I did wanna show you that lengthwise it would fit, but heightwise it would not fit. So one thing that the tenor can hold that the dory cannot is the iPad. And then I'm just gonna empty out the middle parts and put it in here and then we can go through the organization that's on the inside of this tenor. So I do have a coupe in here, so a coupe fits in the tenor. So I'm gonna try to put the coupe over here in the dory. And what I was trying to do is kind of just show you what kind of products can fit in here, what the capacity is, and just like what could or could not fit in the mini dory. So as of now, that additional pouch and the coupe is fitting in here, but there's not gonna be much else that can fit in there. I also have another little cosmetic bag in here that has just a little catch-all kind of thing, and that fits standing up in the tenor, but it's not gonna fit in the mini dory. So this is another thing that's not gonna be able to fit in the mini dory that fits in the tenor, and this is just like a regular size pouch. So you can see that this cosmetic bag is just a little bit smaller than the coupe and it will not fit. And then I also have this mini choo-choo. So I did show you in what would fit in the mini dory that this mini choo-choo will fit in one of the cargo pockets of the mini dory. So I actually took the 
case out of here, the pill case in the mini choo choo. I actually took it out. Look how pretty this Resort Tropics looks with the coral. It kind of brings out the coral that's in this Resort Tropics. It looks pretty, really pretty together, but I also think this looks really pretty with the violet as well. But the mini choo choo, I did take the little plastic pill case out and it does go in the cargo pocket a little bit better. Can you kind of can smoosh it in there a little bit with the things that you might put in there? All right, so that's fitting in the cargo pocket. And then I will go ahead and empty off my key leash. So it does have a key bungee in the inside of the tenor. And what I always put on those are my earbuds and a flashlight. So I'm just gonna convert those over here to the key bungee that is in here. Okay, so I have both of those in there and those will fit right there on the side of that coupe. It's a tight fit, you guys, but they fit. All right, so I've cleared out the middle part of that. And so what I have in the back of this is, in the back of the tenor, you have two cargo pockets. I have the tram in one of those. If it's really nicely standing up in one of those cargo pockets, and I'm just gonna try to fit it in here with the other stuff that I have. And as of now, it still zips. So all of that will fit in there. And then in the other cargo pocket, I do have a bobsled. So I did put this on the outer soft lined area in my other video on the dory and it fit but as you can see with all the stuff that i have in here this bobsled is not going to fit on that soft line pocket so as of now that won't fit so let's just go ahead and take the coupe out because the coupe is kind of big and try to see if the bobsled will fit in there now okay so the bobsled will fit on that side soft lined area with the coupe being out and let me just show you the inside now because I have everything cleared out of this. I did not put anything in the clear view pocket of the tenor because I had the middle part just completely filled and I wanted to see what would actually fit in here. So you have a key bungee right here on the inside of the tenor. You have two cargo pockets in the back of the tenor. You turn it around and in the front you have that clear view pocket area. It goes from one side to almost the other side, but beside that you have this slot right here for two credit cards, which is RFID shielded. So I do have just one of the inspiration cards I like to leave in there. So there's a slot for two credit cards or a credit card and a driver's license if you want over there. So that's the inside of your tenor, completely emptied out. And I was able to fit everything from it in here. I was able to fit the tram, the extra pouch, the mini choo-choo, and I put the bobsled in one side of the soft line pockets and then I put the phone in the other side. So what was in the tenor that didn't fit? Well, let me see if this zips. So it does zip. So here is the dory packed up with everything from the tenor except for the coupe, this cosmetic pouch, and the iPad. So it is kind of surprising that these three things were the only things that did not fit in the mini dory because I thought there would be a lot more that wouldn't fit. So I actually was surprised by the capacity of this from what was in the tenor. So you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of these size differences. This is quite a bit smaller than the tenor, but to be honest, it didn't fit too much less. Like the iPad would have fit sideways, but not height-wise. And the coupe, I mean, the door is not much bigger than the coupe, so it did not fit in there and neither did the cosmetic bag. But other than that, most everything from the tenor fit in the dory. So it does have a good size capacity, not near as much as the tenor. I could have probably fit more things in the tenor, but I did have it stuffed pretty good and I didn't want it to be pooching out or anything like that. So there are your capacity differences from the tenor to the mini dory. And now let's see how these wear on the body. So here is the tenor as a shoulder bag. So I have this strap adjusted as short as it'll get so you can see what the tenor looks like as a shoulder bag. And then of course you can carry this with just the tote straps right here, like a satchel style and detach these straps. But then let me go ahead and show you how this looks as a crossbody as well. This is a great one and a half inch strap. Love this strap. So. Here is how the tenor looks as a crossbody. I really like for it to hit right at my hip. So here is the front view and here is the side view of the tenor as a crossbody. So here is the mini dory as a crossbody. You can see how vibrant and bright this color really is against this cream background. Here's a side view as well of the dory as a crossbody. And then also you can just carry that with these little straps as well if you want to and detach the straps right here if you want to just carry it with these little tote handles. Then you can also wear this as a shoulder bag. So let me go ahead and adjust these as short as it gets. 
Again, love this one and a half inch strap. So this is as short as it'll get, and here is how the dory would look if you wanted to just wear it over your shoulder as a shoulder bag. So now you've seen how the tenor and the mini dory wear on the body, and I hope that gives you a better visual of the size comparison of these two when you see them on the body. Also showed you what could fit in the mini dory from the tenor, which did surprise me that more things fit in there than I did think would fit in there. So here are your size comparisons side by side. And I hope this video was helpful. Someone did ask me to compare the capacity of these two. So I was more than happy to do that for you guys. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.